Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my very first get ready with me, which I am going to nickname Slay and Shade. Why not? Slay with the makeup and sprinkle a little shade. Um, I just, I have like a really busy day today and I was in the middle of doing my makeup. I did all my face makeup, blush, all that kind of stuff. And I thought, oh, while I do my eyeshadow, since there is one particular thing still on my mind today, maybe I will do a get ready with me. So, uh, on my face I have BH Cosmetics Flawless Finish Foundation and Becca and Chrissy Teigen for contour and all that stuff and the Manny MUA and Jeffree Star Highlighter in Eclipse, which I felt it to be appropriate to you since we will be talking about Manny MUA today. I'm going to use a mixture of Jeffree Star Androgyny and the Beauty Killer Palette on my eyes. Not really too sure what kind of look I'm going to go for. I need something that, I want something cute that kind of pops, but nothing like too crazy. So we'll see what we end up with. I already set my eye primer, so let's get started, shall we? So Manny MUA. Oh, I used to love Manny. I used to love him so very, very much. He was... I mean, it was like the first boy doing makeup on YouTube and having, you know, doing cool looks. And he was just very charismatic. Really, really cool. I was a fan for a little while. But I feel like huh, I'm going to go in with a Sigma brush and I'm going to go into Charm. So I feel like he changed a lot. Use my well color switch here. So I feel like the Manny that I once knew is dead and it's very sad. When he first started, he was super great. I mean, I think I subbed to him when he was like at 50,000 subscribers. So obviously he is much bigger now. And I, I think all of his success is great and well-deserved. I'm not hating on that. I mean, I think that he deserves it. Definitely. It's just that he seems to be lacking a little thing called humility. And that's kind of what I want to talk about. He recently went on one of his infamous uh, tweet and delete rants, which we all love. And since he blocked me on Twitter, I, I only saw it through screenshots from a friend, Alex. So thank you, Alex, for sending that to me. So... He blocked me because he had said some shit about Kevin James Bennett, who is an Emmy award-winning makeup artist. He's not a makeup lover that once worked at a Mac counter and now claims he's this huge makeup artist. No, he is a huge makeup artist. That's sort of the difference between beauty gurus and beauty like bloggers. Some of these people are actual makeup artists that are licensed that work on clients that still work on clients and give you like helpful tips and things on YouTube. Then there's the beauty lovers like Jaclyn Hill, Manny MUA, like that kind of stuff, which is fine. You know, there, you get to pick, you know, from whomever you want to, to watch. It's great. There's such a big audience, you know, or a big um, selection of stuff for, for anybody. It's just that it bothers me when Manny says things like, if you don't like Morphe eyeshadows, then you don't know what you're doing with makeup. What? Well, I personally don't like Morphe shadows, and my makeup ain't that bad. I just think that they're chalky, and they don't work for me. But um, <clears throat> he saw that I had, <laughs> I had tweeted, you know, Manny used to work at a MAC counter. Kevin James Bennett has won Emmys for his makeup. Like, why are you always, like, shading people that don't agree with, like, something that you say, like, Morphe or whatever, or whenever he was sticking up for um, Jaclyn Hill because of Kevin James Bennett? Laddie, will you please not... Ugh, every time. I'm so sorry. Hopefully he'll, like, kind of sit still. But anyway, so I tweeted that out. He did tweet... He commented on my tweet, and it wasn't very nice, and he said, oh, look at your ugly makeup, but he deleted it. So for all intents and purposes, it is non-existent. It's like it didn't happen because if you don't have a receipt, nobody believes you, but it did happen. 
So he blocked me on there, which was fine. You know, I was just kind of like, okay, well, guess he saw uh, my, you know, he obviously saw what I had said, which I didn't think it was like that bad. It was just like, you know, anytime somebody disagrees with him about makeup, like he always has to make them out to seem like they are a piece of shit or less than him. And I don't like that. I do not like that at all. And this isn't a hate thing towards Manny. I don't hate anybody. I just feel like he's changed. So fast forward to a few days ago, he was on Twitter saying that he was going to start out the year with a, a rant that he was probably going to end up deleting like he usually does. So his rant started with him talking about how brands will send him, I guess, emails saying, we'll send you free products if you give us a good review. That in and of itself is pretty shady to ask somebody to do a good review, whether they like a product or not. But that's not what his problem was. Oh, no, 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 no. His problem was that he's saying, we need to be paid because this is our job and you can't expect me to you know review your product for free and give it like a good review that was like wait wait what <laughs> i was like what is he talking about he's not even upset that people are trying to just get him to give good reviews which then made it out to seem like had this specific brand that he was talking about i'm gonna go in with fetish right here um had this brand that he was talking about or brands because he said that they're big brands and there's more than one of them had they um paid him like so he would have done a good review you know what i mean and then that got me to thinking about how we rarely see any different brands across these different channels. We rarely see anything outside of Morphe or a Maybelline or a CoverGirl or uh, Laura Mercier, you know, or Marc Jacobs. We don't see, you know, brushes other than like, and this is Wet n Wild brush and it's freaking amazing. But anyway, all of these big beauty YouTubers, they all do the same exact review on the same exact products. And I was thinking, you know what? It's probably because really good like indie brands or just makeup brands in general that just do not have that type of success yet. <clears throat> they can't give these beauty YouTubers any kind of incentive to do a review. One, they probably don't have enough money to pay them. And then two, if nobody's really heard of them, maybe like the the YouTuber is a little like hesitant because they'll think like they won't get a lot of views, which is ridiculous because, you know, most of the fans of these people, they will buy anything that they tell them they like, which is a shame because now that we know that Manny was complaining about like brands wanting a good review for free, it makes you think like, well, what what other things has he reviewed that he liked that he did get paid for, but just didn't disclose that information, you know? And I know that like sponsored videos, you know, we're starting to see them being disclosed more and more, but there are ways to get around them, which is why I think, and I think it was Toddy, but that's why I think she started doing the PR unboxings, the free stuff that beauty, gurus get because I think that was a way for her to be like how am I going to film with all of these products how am I going to get you know all of these videos in so that way she could promote them because there are people out there that will buy stuff just because somebody has it and it's not even a review it's just like oh they sent me this oh this looks cool oh I'm really excited about this but there's no review there's no you know, wear test, there's no application, but people will still buy stuff. So that was very smart on her if she is the one that originally started doing that. <clears throat> so back to Manny. So we all have seen the video of him doing his, if I could just get on that fucking PR list stuff about, with Kylie Jenner and all that it's like nothing is ever enough for him. He gets so many free products. He gets 
a lot of promotion across YouTube and he's worked with brands. I think that is awesome, but he still finds something to fucking bitch about. You know, it's like, how much money do you need? You know, back in the day, it was like he talked about makeup, like he at least liked it and enjoyed it. But now he talks about it like, oh, I have to do a review or I better be getting paid for this review, you know, and all we're doing is just making videos. And some of these beauty gurus don't even edit their own videos or even film them themselves. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, dude buys like a mass amount of you know, vehicles and he lives in like a beautiful home and he goes on all of these trips, you know, going to Bora Bora, going here, going there. And it's like, it's still not enough. There's something that he has to complain about. Maybe he's just that type of person. Then he'll get on Twitter and be like, oh, everybody's so negative and I'm so positive and blah, blah, blah. No, you sound like a little bitch. I'm sorry. Like you should be more thankful for what you have and you should be grateful for all of us that have ever watched and supported you for getting you that far. That's that's just my personal opinion. Don't hate me. Um, I'm going to use this uh, Real Techniques brush to blend this because I was not paying attention, clearly. But anyway, so he's always complaining about something and like... I understand like everybody has things about their job that like they don't like, but not a lot of us get all of the incentives and perks and things that come with a job such as that. So I just feel like why can't he just be grateful and just not complain for a while, you know, and and it made me wonder, you know, what is it going to take? Like when he used to talk about makeup, it was like you saw like this little spark in his eye. But now it's like a job to him, which it, I mean, it is a job, but you would think that he would still enjoy it. But now it's like he's always, you know, complaining or he just doesn't have the same type of excitement and stuff like he used to. And I don't know whether I can believe I'm going to go into frosting, whether I believe any of his reviews now you know because we don't know i don't i mean he seems like the type that would like not disclose a uh a sponsored video just because so i'm not sure but it's a shame because there are so many great cosmetic companies out there that would love to be featured on a huge channel like that of manny's you know would love to be on there, would love to be featured, would love the opportunity to get their name out there, you know? And I just feel like they're not going to get a chance because, you know, they don't have an incentive to review them. They don't have a reason because they're not making any money off of it. So he's coming out with Lunar Beauty. I kind of dig the name. It's going to be his own cosmetics line. And at first when I heard... This was quite some time ago since the rumor started that he would come out with his own line. I thought, oh, this is going to be amazing because at the time I still kind of liked him and I thought, wow, you know, he's going to do something really, really great. Well, now I feel like this is just a way for him to get more money. I don't feel like it's a passion project. I don't feel like he's so about makeup and he loves it so much that he cannot wait to create something. I think it's more of a money grab. That's just my opinion. Y'all can argue with me in the comments. Just so you know, if you love Manny, that's totally awesome. You know, I, this is just my opinion on, you know, based on some of the things that he has said and put out there, you know, I just... I'm just not a big fan of that. And I think right now there's a very good sort of turn, a very, very unexpected but welcoming change to YouTube because I think more and more people are wanting to see real people, you know, that they can relate to. People that are just sitting down and just talking to you, you know, just want to chit chat, you know. And it's not about the great lighting and the camera equipment. And it's not about the fake nails and thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars of jewelry. Or, you know, it's not about, like, the flexing. 
it's just about you, a camera, and just hanging out with people that like to watch you. And I had missed that for so long. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to start my own channel. And because it's like kind of therapeutic for me. But I think some a lot of people are just like, you know, they don't know if they can trust them. They're always shoving codes down your throats, you know, Morphe this, Morphe that. And people are just tired of it. And and I know I am. And I know that I miss the old school days. And I'm going to link a few YouTubers down below that you should totally go support. That just like to sit and talk like the old days, you know. And maybe that's not your thing. And that's totally cool too because there are a ton of different types of videos that you can watch different types of people. So if you're into like the big beauty gurus and all the flashy fancy stuff, you got that and then you have options to take it back old school, which I I kind of like because I'm seeing a lot of really great talent coming out of smaller YouTubers getting a little bit of a boost, you know. I'm going to take that fetish shade just right down here. I'm not a makeup artist, like I said. I just really like makeup. I could have not been so heavy on this freaking eyeshadow. I'll probably take a little concealer, clean that up a little bit. Won't be a problem. So, anyway, what do you guys think about Manny? I am very curious because... He's huge. He's such a huge part of the beauty community. And I don't, and I think that he deserves it. I just feel like, why can't you just be happy? Just live your beautiful life. You know, so what? Some brands want you to review some things and not pay you. You should have just said, I won't do a good review just because you want me to. That should have been the issue. But the issue was that he did not want to do a good review um, without getting paid. So that's why I don't trust them. Where is the love? Where is the trust? It's just insane. It's like these people started out doing these videos because they loved makeup. And they were like, yes, I'm so excited. And then they get some brand deals and they're like, oh, I'm getting some PR and blah, blah. Then it's like not enough. They want to make the same amount of money as the other beauty YouTubers are. They want to be on the same PR list. They want to go to the same events. When it was just about sitting down, putting on makeup, and just being yourself and having a conversation. And so, I don't know. I mean, you guys let me know what you think about Manny down below. And like I said, I'm going to link a few uh, new-to-me YouTubers that I think are really awesome. That are just like, you know, just totally chill. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first slaying shade. I still have to add some eyeliner, but I'm running a little bit late. So I'm going to have to cut this off now. But I really appreciate you guys for watching. And I hope to see you next time on slaying shade. Love you guys.